motivation really came from uh, going to several seminars uh, with uh, people such as uh, Mark Liberté, um, and that was one of his top uh, areas that he wanted people in Oregon to um, notice that needed to be um, moving in a different direction. And working directly with Mark, he basically was the push we needed to take the right step forward and start looking into the fact to get the stuff out of the wet crawl and out of the hot attic. Well, it's always our goal to keep pushing the boundaries and, and just build houses more and more efficient without increasing the cost, you know. So these, this is kind of like low-lying fruit. Um, but this is more logistic, so it's actually tougher than just... Uh, it, it's tougher uh, because you just can't throw money at it to work, right? <laughs> so. You know, and the, and the, the downturn in the, in the economy, you know, we've actually you know, had more time to think about how we're going to benefit the customer more and mm -hmm. what they're going to really want in a quality system. And um, it, it, it makes sense, you know, people want to save money, especially now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, so, so that's that natural progression right there. It's a good question. With the uh, kind of dynamics of the site, we have a very narrow site. We only have about 20 feet of buildable area uh, for a little bit of uh, modulation for a setback. But essentially, the, the floor plan with having to go vertical almost dictated that we use floor trusses. And with that, um, having the, the third roof um, open really didn't have a, a lot of attic space, well, no attic space. So it, it really dictated that we go to, uh, you know, uh, all the ducts being enclosed in the facility, as well as being a more cost-effective solution. One of the biggest benefits uh, that allowed us to, get to build this, to achieve this, was the incentive programs that are out there. The rebate programs, the, uh, the funds that are out there that you can get to help offset some of your costs. Benefits, and more than not, it's uh, people that are unfamiliar with uh, the building processes today, whether it be uh, realtors or buyers come in and they can, they can see exactly what we're doing. Just by walking around, uh, you can see that ducts are shorter, they're straighter, they're not squashed, they're easily to be, the, the mastic seal is easily put on because they've got so much room to do it and we were able to um, size down our AC unit and the heating unit to uh, it saves us a little bit of money but it's also the right thing to do because it's going to save our clients future money spent. You know, as long as you kind of explain it to them in layman's terms uh, to where you can show them if you have a heated envelope around that duct a hundred percent then if you have any air leakage it's just going to be leaking right into the house mm -hmm. so I mean, my gosh, you, it's a win-win situation, really, if you have a duct jammed in between floors or, or already in that heated envelope. You know, there's always duct leakage. If we can get, if we can control the majority of that leakage to the interior of the building, it's just that much more of an efficient building. But the uh, uh, benefit of it is that you're not having to do it out in the, in the wet and cold. You're usually in a dry uh, climate and inside the house with the roof on you and everything. Yeah, so you feel like that affected the quality of the installation. Yeah, maybe, yeah, the, the uh, guys are, are happier for doing the work, you know, even though it might take them a little bit longer, mm -hmm. they also have to realize, hey, well, we're, we're not having to make two trips to the job, uh, one on, on the rough end and then come back in a month later after the frame's done and come do your top out. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do the rough end and the top out all at the same time. <laughs> well, I have... I have plenty of data since we've been doing it for about two and a half years. I've gone the full circle. So we've made predictions on how these types of houses would work. And now I have feedback from my clients who've lived in their houses for a year or longer. Mm -hmm. So it's, actually, it's, it's proving the actuals are, are lining up with the predictions. And so now I have like you know, sales documentation. So when I meet with them, I show them, hey, look, it's you're, you might have some incremental costs, but there might be a payback of like eight months, and you know, it really does work. The barriers, the biggest barrier we encountered was number one, in a down economy, did we want to uh, spend more money, potentially $1,500? Um, and then uh, 
another barrier was could uh, the manufacturer, trust manufacturer, put out the floor joists in a timely enough manner to keep our projects moving on schedule. Um, those were basically the two big barriers. And designing the house to um, remove or lower some beams to make the house a little more efficient for running ducts inside. Actually, we didn't encounter any barriers because what we ended up in doing on this was had an open web trust joist system, which allowed us to achieve it quite easily. Instead of uh, going with having dimensional lumber with beams and having drops and soffits and everything of that nature, we ended up going with the open web trust joist system, which uh, was made easy actually to do. When, when you're building uh, in a one-story house, you don't have that second floor that, that uh, offers that heated envelope above your ductwork. So you're required to put in uh, uh, extra, uh, uh, kind of a, a false ceiling above your ductwork. It still can be done, it's just it's a little bit more expensive to do it that way. Mm -hmm. um, to make the rooms be aesthetically pleasing, so to, in order to hide that, the ductwork and those drop soffits into the uh, rooms without uh, you know, being an eyesore, making it feel like you're in a basement. Oh, there was a floor truss above the utility closet, so we couldn't get the, a, big, um, a, a big chase up through there for, for big duct work, so we had to do some wall stacks internally. Um, we, all of our jump ducts from the rooms into um, the larger spaces into the house, we had to use floor or, uh, wall cavities. Uh, things like that, you know, nothing real major. Um, we did run across some plumbing stuff where the plumbers absolutely needed a space in the floor trusses, but you know, we found a way around that. And so, mm -hmm. just things that we have to work through, just day to day show up, okay, what's the issues? Let's solve it. I'm always looking for the edge, I'm always looking to differentiate my product. And so, I would be foolish if I did not promote something like this to a broader market. Now, to the empty nester market that I specialize in, they see the value of efficiency. They, they were more than willing to put money where it matters in regards to the solar and have the ductwork put inside. Um, does it cost compared to traditional construction? Not really, there are added costs, but the benefits far outweigh the cost. And so I use that in marketing. I use that to make sure that I put the word out there being the most innovative builder that I can be. The realtors are, that work for Renaissance are very up to speed. They've gone to several training um, with, with even Earth Advantage and some of your um, programs. Um, we do our, our training uh, with our salespeople so they have just as much knowledge as I do when it comes time to explaining the, the green aspects of the house we're building. We have another project that we're currently uh, going vertical on and uh, what this has helped us uh, create a marketability of selling our homes. Actually this is a good selling point and we're carrying this forward to another project called Edgewater that we got going in King City and um, we're actually switching and looking into having a condition crawl. There, there's so much value in these homes. It's almost like whoever, if you're a builder, a realtor, a developer, whoever trying to push these boundaries, it's almost like you have to decouple from the past and reinvent the way you build and develop and sell homes. And not very many want to do that quite yet. Um, they, uh, they see it as a daunting task, but they're, they, they don't realize the true value of these homes and the tremendous marketing um, wherewithal that comes with these houses, especially once you start collecting the data and proving your claims. That says it all. And, uh, but to get there, you have to take some risk. And we were willing to do that, but most people aren't. The thing that I have noticed, if you don't design it properly, is uh, the uh, cold air return, if you don't have enough length on that cold air return, you're going to hear the sucking of the air. Mm -hmm. um, the closer that cold air return is to the furnace, um, the worse it's going to be in your system, the more noise you're actually going to get. So. If the mechanical systems are sized appropriately, using something like Right Soft or Elite, we can downsize it uh, appropriate to the load of the building, which increasing ducts 
diameters, reducing duct lengths, does uh, yeah. help help control the noise factor and and the comfort issue. Yeah. But uh, ducts in the inside, I mean, there's less material, less duct, less runs, which equates to uh, a quieter system. And it would help with that any any awkward uh, air imbalances that might create noises and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we balance all of our rooms and. In your duct plaster, do you, are you testing that? You're, you're doing a balancing test, aren't you? That's going to be something the mechanical contractors are doing. Um, but I'm making sure that, you know, at least I'm reviewing the manual J's. Everything looks to be in order, uh, et cetera. So the initial designs and then uh, when we have to do field changes, things like that, then you go back and make sure that those, or the, those adjustments are put into the uh, manual J to make sure everything's correct with all of the flows, and then they can balance it. From a, from a design standpoint, uh, having the ductless units, you really want to have your mechanical uh, consultant on board from the get-go or very early on in the process. Uh, it reduces a lot of the design time, and especially with uh, coordinating structural, it helps out quite a bit. That is, that is another benefit to a team approach to designing a building, and that we pull in a lot of different trades and suppliers at the design process so that it's not just we're telling them we're dictating them what they need to do they have input mm -hmm. during that so we can make sure to maximize and that creates more efficiencies you know not only with materials but processes it creates those efficiencies that work best for us mm -hmm. there's only really pretty much a couple of different subcontractors involved uh, besides my framing contractor um, so you know I would say there's probably about three contractors mm -hmm. or so that would, would really be involved the insulators uh, had already been doing uh, that kind of work. I think the other thing that really sets us apart in accomplishing our goals is, is the team approach. Um, like I said earlier, we do our best to stick with the same main core of guys, job after job, um, and that's what gets us to where we want to go. Uh, right now, it's, it's tempting for a lot of builders, and I think almost all of the other ones do it, it's, it's cheapest. You know, get three framing brids, the cheapest one gets it. Well, you can't build a quality home with that approach. So, I mean, there's, there's challenges of keeping a team together in this economy. And, you know, we just strive to do that. And that's what keeps us building these types of homes. We will do the best we can to, to maintain this as a standard. Um, again, it comes down to um, having a professional designer involved and the client and the, the value added that we can sell to the client for that, but that is our goal. Right. Overall, I think that um, we as a company are very pleased with the outcome. I think that in turn, uh, the, the homeowners of the homes that have this uh, duct system in them will have a, a more satisfied experience uh, buying a home knowing that um, we are going above and beyond what the uh, code requires which helps uh, keep a satisfied customer. So you know, a lot of the efficiencies that we've implemented in here with the ducts, with the, the solar mechanical units, um, these are all things that you know, from the duration and, and the longevity of the, the project it definitely helps the clients but it also sets uh, kind of a catalyst and, and a standpoint for the, the future development of this area uh, of Boise. It, it was pretty much our last step forward to make the big, the whole package, in my opinion, uh, successful as far as the whole house being energy efficient, not just our lighting, not just using KD lumber, um, not rain screen. It was our last big push to get uh, our clients to actually save money at the year's end of heating and cooling.